Hi, this is Claire McTernan on day three of our free business growth challenge. And today I am at Warwick University. Now it's the end of the day, so I'm looking a bit knackered because I've been working all day with a group of business owners who have left loads of mugs on the table. There's about nine of us in the room today. They are working on the key elements you need to grow your business and actually make a decent amount of money and kind of like really up level it and push through now these guys that are with me today they're some of my bigger clients so i push them harder and get them to make the bigger leaps with their businesses now one of the key elements when it is just you and your business and you're looking to up level is to sort out your pricing now a lot of us have a lot of pricing hang-ups in all fairness i still have some even though i've pushed my pricing up loads over the years but we all have certain pricing hang-ups. What we need to do is be aware of them and push through them. So when you convince yourself that there is only a certain amount of money you can charge because that's the, the norm, it's what is accepted for your profession, don't listen. I'm positive you know somebody, but you could name somebody that does what you do that charges more than you do. Now, I'm sure you're going to tell me, oh, but there's some big London name or they've got a big fancy office that you don't have and that's why they get to charge more. Or maybe they've got a stack of great testimonials behind them and that's why they charge more. But ultimately, they're charging more because they're just more confident about it than you are. I am positive their work is just as good as your work, but yet they're getting more money for it. So you need to go out and sort out your pricing. OK, this is like fundamental to your success, because if you don't price much for what you do, you are going to make yourself work even more hours to make the money you want to make. And when you're working tons of hours to make a bit of money, it's really hard to scale. It's really hard to get beyond just you doing stuff. OK, and I am positive your definition of success doesn't look like you being totally worn out stressed your eyeballs, working all the hours God sends just to deliver like pretty average amount of work to some nice clients. I am positive that's not your definition of success. Hi Dale. The, um, I'm positive what you do want is a good work-life balance, working with clients that really value what you do and pay you nicely for it, if not quite handsomely for it, right? If you want to move to that place, you have to address your pricing. So some classic areas where it's easy to make pricing changes are start pricing for all of the work you do. What we tend to do is think it's only going to take this much time, so we price for this, but we deliver this. So who's guilty of that? Who is guilty of delivering more than they should have, right? So change that. Start pricing for the whole of the time it's going to take you, not for the small bit. So that way, you don't actually have to change your magic fee per hour, but you're actually going to make a lot more money because you're charging for the whole piece of work. Does that make sense? Step number two, when people tend to, you know, ask you to do this, so you quote for this, but then actually they ask for more stuff, you need to put the price up, okay? It's called scope creep. You need to manage that scope creep. Scope creep is your friend. Scope creep will enable you to make a lot more money and people will pay you, I promise you. Nobody's gonna come and slap you when actually you go totally happy to now turn the four page brochure into a 16 page brochure. But obviously that's gonna cost you more because it's gonna take longer. They say totally fine, how much is it? And they pay. When they come to you with last minute requests, say you're totally happy to work on them, but obviously there's a last minute premium because you're gonna have to shuffle around some other work to do it. And knowing you, I'm sure it means you'll work in the evenings or over the weekend. So charge a premium for it. You'll be surprised how easy it is to get people to pay the extra money. So ask. No longer screw yourself over. You're going to say to your clients that it's going to cost more to do that kind of work. And this is how you will push up your earning value, okay? And I tell you, you'll feel so much better for it because you will feel valued. And we love to feel valued. So please go look over your pricing. If you haven't changed it for 12 months, go and review it and start pushing it up. I promise you, people are not gonna hit you for doing it. You know, it is so much easier than you think. And I often get clients saying they wish they'd done it sooner because it was straightforward. 
So I'm Claire McTurn and that is today's tip. I'm sorry I'm looking a bit tired, but I've been working really hard with my fab clients today. And you know, I, I love doing these days at Warwick University. We just have a good laugh and achieve some really epic results. I mean, the guys today, I don't suppose you're gonna be able to read it if I turn around. This is a list of results they've achieved in the last four weeks. I mean, they have been epic. There's one of them here. They're up 73% on where they were last year. 73% implementing advice like I've just told you. So I'm Claire McTernan. I'm going to knock off now and I'm going to see you tomorrow.